Hello, welcome to the coding channel. Today is the 12th episode of our Java tutorial series for beginners. And in this episode, we are going to talk about how to use the while loop in Java. This and more when we come back. And welcome back to Recording Channel Philippines. Mabuhay ang Pilipino and good morning to everyone. Now, in this episode, we will talk about the uh, Java while loop. Now, if you have watched our previous episode about the uh, for loop, while loop is uh, also another way that we can use to iterate a part of the program repeatedly until the specified condition is uh, true. When the condition becomes false, the loop automatically uh, stops. Now, uh, the only limitation of for loop is actually for loop, uh, we can only use for loop for a uh, no number of repetition, meaning fixed. Unlike in a while loop, uh, the while loop, we can uh, use this uh, both for known and unknown number of repetitions. So for you to better understand the uh, syntax of while loop, so let's get started. Okay, now, uh, as you can see here, I have the uh, initialization. The same thing with the for loop, but this time the initialization is outside of the while condition. Okay, and then you just uh, need to use the while a keyword and then followed by the open and close parentheses and then the condition. The, you can use the conditional operators inside of this condition. So later I'll give you an example. Now, uh, and also there is a what? Um, the, cur the left curly brace and the right uh, uh, curly brace here which uh, marks the beginning and end of the while uh, loop. Inside of the uh, loop, uh, you can uh, put your codes there or statement that uh, to be executed. Now make sure that before uh, we end our while con uh, loop, there should be an increment or decrement or an input statements that would change the value of the variable that we've used inside of the condition. Okay, so that's the uh, uh, basic syntax of uh, while. Now, just to give you an idea, for instance, we have uh, an output statement here, okay, uh, displaying the um, uh, text enter number one, number two, number three, up to number 10, for example. Okay, so so we've used uh, 10 output statements, but uh, we can uh, shorten this uh, code by using while. How are we going to do that? Okay, I'll show you. So first is the initialization. Well, for instance, we have int x is equal to what? Is equal to uh, one or initial uh, value, for example. Okay, and then use the while uh, keyword, and then the, uh, let's put the condition there. So while x is uh, less than or equal to ten, for example. So that's our condition. So what are we going to do? Okay, we only need one output statement here. And we'll just have to put it here. Okay, and let me, um, this one, I will, let me uh, put this inside of the comment. Okay, and then uh, system.print enter number. So, for example, you want to print number one, number two, number three, number four. Okay, so what are we going to do? We'll just have to use the plus sign there for string concatenation operator. And then we will use the variable x there so that we will have a enter number one, number two, number three, number four, and so on. Okay, so if you want to put, uh, for example, um, uh, double code, I mean a uh, colon, so you can just uh, add the um, colon there. Okay, so that's it. System.out.println. So let me also uh, put this inside of the uh, comment so that you can now run this one so while x is less than or equal to 10 okay we still have don't forget to put another plus sign there okay for string concatenation operator if we're going to run this one okay so we will now have okay well where's the output now hmm. okay so Where's the output now? Okay, so this one is an example of what? Of a, an infinite uh, loop. Okay, why? We, we forgot to put the increment or 
decrement. For example, so since uh, we've started uh, 1 here, the value of x is 1 up to 10, so meaning we need to increment um, the uh, x by 1 every iteration. So we will have uh, x plus plus inside or plus plus x inside of the while loop. If you use plus plus x or if you use x plus plus, it means the same uh, uh, thing inside of the loop. Okay, but I discussed in our previous episode in the uh, for loop that when when you use the plus plus x in an output statement, there is a big difference. So we better watch that uh, um, episode. Okay, now so let's try. We have now the increment. Okay, so there you go. Enter number one, number two. Okay, so let's try to use the print ln here, so that we will have a, a ten um uh, lines, for example of an output statement. Okay, so there you go. It's simple. It is. Enter number 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay. So that's it. So for instance, we want to uh, ask the user to enter a number and then we will uh, just add those numbers, for example. So let's try to have a uh, scanner here. Okay. Uh, scanner, for example, a keyboard is equal to a new uh, scanner and then for example we have system dot in okay and then make sure to uh, import the scanner class there okay since we will have and then we will just have to modify this one uh, this time we will um, ask the user uh, we ask the user to enter a number right enter number one so uh, aside from output statement, we will uh, add now the input statement. So we have a uh, keyboard, keyboard uh, dot next int, for example. Okay, and then we will assign that one inside of the what. So we will have um, another variable here, uh, int um, input, for example. So so that we'll have input is equal to keyboard dot next int okay so so 10 times we will uh, need to ask the user to enter a number okay and then after that what are we going to do enter number one number two number three number four number five okay so every time we ask the user to enter a number we will be needing another uh, variable here for example uh, we have a sum and then if we if you are planning to uh, use sum for output statement, so make sure that you initialize that one, okay, before you use it, unless, or else you will have uh, an error. Okay, so sum is equal to sum, okay, plus why I am doing this so that uh, there sh should be a, um, a string, I mean a concatenate concatenation, so every iteration, okay. That every time we get the user input, we add that um, directly in our uh, sum variable. Okay, so that's the meaning of that. So either sum is equal to sum or sum plus equals, and then I'll just have to use uh, the input here. Okay, so that's it. So enter a number. So one, two, three, four, five, for example. So this is now the increment also. So what else? Then if we want to display the um, the output, the sum of 10 numbers, for example. So since that one is um, outside of the loop uh, already, unless we, we want to have um, 10 output statements also. So that's the only time that uh, you put that uh, inside of the while loop. But if you're just planning to um, display only one output statement, so better to put that outside of our loop, okay? Uh, like for instance, so the the sum, the sum yeah is okay simple as that. The sum is and then plus plus what? Uh, sum, okay. Where we put the the sum of those variables. Sum is plus sum. Okay. So what is the problem of this one? We have the hmm. syntax error on token. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, the sum is plus sum. Okay, run. Enter number one. 
Okay, for example, we have uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oh, 10, 1, and 2. And then uh, 4. Okay, so the sum is 56. So that's it. That's uh, simple it is to use the uh, while um, uh, loop, for example. Now, aside from this, uh, we can also use the while loop, as what I've told you um, a while ago. We can also use while loop um, using the send, uh, I mean, the unknown number of repetition. Okay, so what is that um, unknown number of repetition? So let's try to modify um, this one. So for example, okay, uh, letter E, just have to copy this one, we we'll just have to modify it here. Okay, so this time around, uh, instead of 10, so what if we have while x is not equal, while x is not equal to negative 1, okay, something like that. Okay, so let's try to, um, what? Let's try to have an input statement outside. So that would be our initialization, okay, something like that. Hmm. So, for example, enter a number. <clears throat> enter a number. Okay. And then, okay, we have an input now. So, while um, input this time around, because we don't know how many times uh, this condition will uh, repeat. So, uh, it all depends on the input of the user. So we, that's why we will use the input variable here. So while input, while user input is what? For example, uh, is our condition is not equal to negative 1. So while user uh, did not, uh, you know, enter um, negative 1, so this loop will continue to iterate. Okay, so that's it. So while input is not equal to negative 1, what are we going to do? So we need to do what? We need to, uh, for example, I get uh, add the uh, number. And then instead of um, x plus plus here, okay, another way of um, increment or decrement is we can also um, uh, put the input statement inside as replacement of the increment or decrement okay what's important here is uh, this statement would change the value of the input if uh, the second time around the third the fourth the fifth every time we uh, go up and uh, test the value of input okay so that's why uh, we put the uh, input statement again inside of the while loop because this one um, uh, the uh, Java will just uh, read this one uh, once since this one is outside of the while loop. Okay, this out output and input statement. Okay, so enter a number and then input. So while input is not equal to negative one, okay, our program will uh, continue to add the uh, user input to the uh, previous um, input. And then we will still uh, also display the output. Okay, so this negative one is what we call now the sentinel um, value. Okay, the sentinel value uh, when we use inside of the uh, while loop, okay, so that would be the, uh, the, um, the value that would uh, make the statement false. Okay, so we call it sentinel controlled. Okay, that's why this one is a sentinel controlled repetition. So this, uh, this is now uh, an advantage of while uh, over, uh, you know, a for loop. It's because for loop is only limited, again, uh, to be used uh, for fixed or no number of repetition. While loop, a while loop can, uh, can both uh, be uh, used for known and unknown. Okay, so let's try to run again this one. Okay, so enter a number, oh, for example, if we enter the negative one the first time around, okay, so the sum is zero, which is, that's the um, initial value, okay, and then that's it.
end of our program already. Okay. While, for example, if you run again, and then if uh, we enter, for example, any number other than uh, negative 1, okay, we have 5, and then 3, we have 2, 1, 8, 7, 6, okay, 9, okay, as many as you can, okay, unlimited, even 0, can, okay, even negative 2, okay, except for negative 1. Okay, once you enter the negative 1, okay, the program will stop, and then uh, it will total all the uh, inputs that um, we've entered here. Okay, so that's um, the uh, Sentinel controlled repetition. And that's okay, all now for let's, today. Let's... And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And as always, show your love through comments and favorites. God bless and thank you for watching.